everyone and welcome to Maker Monday. My name is Leslie and I lead the Reading Safari and Stream programs for Winery County Free Libraries. Today we're going to do a simple and awesomely fun project called a tornado tube. Um, it looks like this. It's two tubes put together. Well, it's two bottles put together with water in them and then you can make a tornado and I'm going to show you, demonstrate that right now. So when you turn it over and you go like this, you get your tornado in your water bottle. Super fun project uh, about centripetal force and um, let's get started. Okay, so to make this uh, tornado tube, all we're gonna need is two uh, clear plastic bottles that are round. It's very important that they're round so that when you swirl them that they can um, make the tornado easily. Uh, some duct tape, or tape that is gonna pretty well waterproof or seal it, and water. And to be able to see it better, we will peel off the labels. And then I'm going to fill up one of the bottles about three, two thirds to three quarters of the way um, before I tape them together. It'll be a lot harder to put the water in once they're put together. Okay, that's probably good. And then I'm lining up the the tops so that they'll like balance. And I'm gonna use enough enough tape uh, to seal that like as well as I can. Probably be good. So this is this is probably the hardest part. So if you have another person to work with, that it would be helpful to have them hold um, the bottles together during this part when it's taped, or one person can hold the bottles kind of together and the other one can do the taping. So if you don't get a good seal there, there's going to be some water that leaks out. Okay, and then so, then when I turn it over, the water is going to be able to drain down. If we want to make that tornado, what you need to do when you turn it over is like kind of move it in a circular motion. So what that does is it creates, it causes the water to start moving when I exert, when I move, the water moves with my hand. Um, and then when I stop moving, so I'm going to kind of swirl it and then stop. And then the water will want to keep kind of moving in the direction that it's been moving. And the edges of the bottle are going to supply a centripetal force, which pushes it towards the center. So this moves it in a circle and we get that tornado looking right here. So I can see it go there. I'll show that one more time here. So it goes really fast with these smaller bottles. We'll do it one more time. There you go, good tornado. Okay, thanks. So before I go, I wanna show you a little something, uh, experiment that we did before we made this video. And it's about um, why you need a round bottle versus a square one. See, this is a square bottle. And I'm gonna show you what happens when you try to do a tornado tube in with a square bottle. So here, let me show you. So, you can see that it works perfectly well for this round bottle, right? And it looks really, really awesome. So when we try and do it with this one, watch what happens. It can't really do it in the same way because it's not a round bottle. See that? I'm going to try it one more time with this bottle, the square bottle on top. See how it's kind of glug, 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 glug? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's why it's important to use the, um, the round bottles. And if you can, use bigger bottles. These are just the little, what, 12 ounce bottles? The, the, the little soda bottles. If you can, use like a two liter um, like this, then as you notice, I'm gonna show you one more time 
how awesome the tornado looks and how long you can watch it. So that's what I've got for you today. Tornado tubes made with um, two bottles, duct tape, and water. I don't know if it gets more simple than that. All right, I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Take care of yourselves, have fun making as usual. If you do this project, please tag us so that we can see how it went for you. Take care and have a great week. I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.